Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Kim with Kim's Inspired Life. Happy Mother's Day for those of you that are celebrating Mother's Day today and many blessings to you. Guys, today is week two of our spring Mother's Day collab hosted by Kathy at Kathy's Favorite Things and Life with Patty. So we were tasked with altering an item, any item we wanted. And if you know me, you know that I love coffee. And so I decided to alter a coffee band or a coffee sleeve as some call it, and this is nothing new. I found YouTube videos dating back to like five, six, seven years ago where people were doing this, and just recently, it's made a comeback. <laughs> I found two or three crafters that have been doing this um, just recently. When in preparation for this collab, I went ahead and ordered some of these sleeves from Amazon, and guys, I got 100 of them for $8, so I shared many with my crafty friend Sarah and then here is what I have left and this is what I'm altering and this is what I'm going to share with you today. So let me move this aside and let me show you what I've done. So I altered the coffee sleeve and then I loaded it up with a whole bunch of crafty goodies. Here is the altered sleeve. Here's the front and the back of it and I just used some fun paper that I had in my scrap bucket and put on this gold washi tape right here and then I was gifted actually this bow. I was gifted this crepe paper. I was gifted this. So a whole bunch of stuff that I was gifted that I am putting to good use. So I just went ahead and put that crepe paper um, on the back and then added this All Things Grow With Love sticker. I stamped, colored, and then just fussy cut that little coffee cup out. And then I love this. I don't have this die. Maybe one day I will, but I really like this die. And so I put that coffee cup there and a bow and some hearts here. And then I loaded it up with a whole bunch of stuff. So let me just take it out and let me show you what's in here. So the first thing I did was I took a mini envelope because I love love minis. So many of us love minis. And so I took a mini envelope. I already had this made. Before I started this project, I went searching for all of the coffee related theme paper that I could find. And this was one of them. So I die cut a star here. And then I just made that little front there for the envelope. And then I made three toothpick embellishments. I just put that little palm on there and cut out these little banners. This one out of washi tape and then this one just out of paper scraps. I used paper scraps for all of these actually guys and so I just did the same thing on all three of them. Washi tape on the bottom and then a paper flag and then a little sentiment and then some other little fun goodies and then I just put them in this little envelope for a little embellishment. That's the first thing. Second thing was I already had made these little tags when um, I was in Hawaii. And so work hard, play hard, best day of my life and be the light. And then just stuck on some little jammies there and then made this little bag topper, dreams come true. But that was fun on there. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I made a whole bunch of these fringe tassels, just these long paper tassels. And actually I made a whole bunch of them. I have them on this ring right here. So I just selected out a few to include in here. And then I folded this to make that little banner up there and then added on um, this sentiment and a button there for that bag topper. And then I made this little wand. I made some rosettes. I'm actually one day, I hadn't made rosettes in quite a while. And so I made about a couple dozen um, rosettes. I di just die cut um, this paper, glued it on there. And then there's this corrugated paper here. And I used some um, twine back here. And I stamped this, colored that, but first coffee, added those little gems there then stuck this little heart on there and added a bow and that little pearl there on this um, little straw. So I thought that was fun. And then the next thing I did was I made a tag and the tag looks like this. Um, there's a Maggie Home sticker that I backed up on just some cardstock and then used some foam tape for that. Stuck on these jemmies here and then this laugh sentiment here. Added this bow up at the top and I figured let me make something to put this tag in. And so I made this little pocket here. I die cut this circle out so I can stick in some little seed beads there. And then I glued on this little black pom-pom, some ephemera, and then my tag fit perfectly inside of there. So there is that. 
And then I wanted to alter a little notebook. So I just bought these little notebooks. They come like two for a dollar at Dollar Tree. I had made these crepe paper rosettes, a whole bunch of them. Um, I had gifted some in some Happy Mail. And I, have, of course, still have a whole bag of them. And then I had actually made this um, little banner, too. That's another one that I made while I was on vacation. I think Roz at Crafty Mamar Paper Crafts gifted that to me, I believe, and then stuck on this hello, and then follow your bliss right here, and then these two yellow gems here. So there is that little notepad. And then the last thing that I, I just found this shape on a template in Pinterest, I think. And then I just cut it out and then I inked around the edges. And then in order to make the coffee band on my little coffee cup, I used um, some printed paper. I like this polka dot paper, added this trim here, and then stamped and colored this self-made with a little help from caffeine. I like that on there. And then I have this little die cut here, which I've forgotten that I had, which I was so happy to find these little coffee cups with the heart there. So I die cut those out and glued those there and then I put another one right here and then I wanted to add some little sequins so I put that in a bag and then decided to put that up at the top and on the back there's a little Starbucks card of course because I have a giveaway guys. So again I just want to say thank you to Kathy and Patty for hosting this collab. This was so fun. I really enjoyed putting together all of these fun little goodies week one we created memdex cards and i had four winners for my giveaway there for the telephone memdex and the little portfolios that i made to go with them and so thank you everyone for watching that video if you haven't gone over there and watched that video i'll link it in the description box below Hello. i hope that you're as excited as i am to go over and check out all of the other channels that are in the collab and see what they what items they alter for this awesome spring and Mother's Day collab. And I will have the links to all of their channels below. Don Sutton, Judy at My Scrapbook Loft, Melissa at By Mimi With Love, Sally Hendricks, The Crafty Hedgehog, Leslie Bromfield, Pamela's Creations, Tony at Creative Chica Halls, Susan Tootsie Tucker, Ashley at Paper and Twine, and Creating with Jovi. So thank you to Kathy, Patty, and all of the other collaborators for motivating me and inspiring me. If you would like to enter the giveaway to win this altered coffee sleeve that I've stuffed with a whole bunch of goodies, then just add the hashtag collaboration and teamwork into your comment below. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by and I'll talk to you again next week. Week three, we are altering an embroidery hoop. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so fun. All right, guys, have a wonderful week this week. Talk to you soon. Bye -bye. So after I created this one, I also created a second one. I'm not going to go through each piece and show it to you because this one was actually created for a crafty friend. Pretty much everything that is in this one I've put in here. It just looks a little bit different.